Hi folks and welcome to DevTrends. Today we're gonna talk about new Angular 6, tiny storage called Histore and JavaScript in Excel. So Angular 6 is a new major release of widely popular JavaScript framework which is a primary tool of choice for large corporations, as we may know from developer servers. Angular has had some struggle with following version semantics a while ago, but these days are over and now we have solid schedule of releasing new major version of Angular every six months. So new Angular 6 has been released recently and this is another evolutionary release. That means Angular team keeps fulfilling the promise to avoid disaster caused by switching from Angular version 1 to Angular version 2. And this release contains some neat new features along with many improvements, so let's switch to code to see what's new. So let's firstly install globally Angular CLI package in order to bootstrap new CLI project, a uh, new Angular, I mean, project. CLI. It is already installed in my system, so it will be fast, I think, I hope. And now let's create a new Angular demo project with NGNU. So we can see we have now Angular demo folder with all the bootstrapped structure of Angular project and we will see how new some new features work in that project. I guess we don't need uh, VS Code for now, just terminal will do. So the first new tool is ng update. So ng update is a new CLI tool that helps you to properly update dependencies of your Angular project. It analyzes your package.json, finds outdated packages and recommends you what to update. Uh, let's just switch to Angular demo yeah, from here. And moreover, a package owner can implement a so-called schematics. Let's switch to this article. So schematics is a set of rules that will be applied to a project's code if you decide to update this package with ng-update. So, in other words, such package with schematics will update itself and magically update all the related code in your project, like fixing breaking changes, adding or removing components, and so on. So, it's like Facebook's code mode, but implemented for Angular. So, we can see that in our new bootstrapped project there is no such things needed to be updated so it's it's okay for us and another new CLI tool is ng add Let's make it a bit bigger uh, ng add makes it easy to add new capabilities to your angular project it helps you to add such functionality such as progressive web app support angular material stuff or elements Let's, for example, add PWA in our demo projects. Let's write ng add, add angular slash PVA here. So it's adding a PWA support now. Let's, mm, let's switch to code. Still, let's do code. to see a project structure. Okay, here is my code. Here's our Angular demo folder, our SRC. And let's wait for ng add Angular PWA to install. So you see that uh, this PWA package creating uh, all the assets needed to bootstrap a full-featured progressive web app like to switch from your base, base Angular project to progressive web app with support for mobile friendliness and stuff like you see there is any folder in assets uh, with new mobile icons is created and there is also manifest JSON I switch to code to see no no close so Yes. Mm. Assets, icons, so you can see there are different icons with different sizes for different devices. 
and you can see there is as well manifest JSON created that is a like root file for your progressive web app including all their links to their uh, for example different icons of different sizes and some uh, defaults like theme color or the color of uh, top toolbar for example for Android or iOS system so this is all added automatically without without some configuration from your site or some manual writing the code just with ng add and another new feature of angular 6 is so-called angular elements angular elements are angular components packaged as native custom elements in order to use such components in a framework agnostic way you can find more info about Angular Elements in the links below. And at last, in order to seamlessly update to Angular 6, you can use a tool called uh, Update Angular IO. It's a website, and this website will assist you from switching to any version of Angular to any new version of Angular, so you can. Uh, see how to update, for example, from version 5.2 to 6.0 and which steps you need to fulfill in order to do this. So it's pretty handy stuff. There is a lot more in Angular 6 release and you can find all the details about it in corresponding blog post link in the description. So Jason Miller, creator of Preact and many more awesome tiny libraries, has recently published his new addition to open source world. It's called Histor or History or Histor or anyway, and it's a tiny 200 bytes in browser storage and this can be used as an alternative to local or session storage if you don't want to share the data among browser types. Interestingly enough, uh, history is based on Windows History Quirk and this quirk allows you to store arbitrary objects inside Windows Location History which is otherwise commonly used for single page uh, navigation. So such store can be used to store data of your website and preserve it through pages but not through other tabs. And now let's see how it works. Let's switch to our terminal, let's move away from Angular and let's create a history demo. Yes. Here let's do npm init. Let's install this history package. History. And let's create two files index.html and index.js with our logic so here will be a base layout let's include our index.js script here index.js let's save it and here let's create some base functionality in order to show how history works so let's include our history model here and let's create new storage let's just call history as a function and here let's for example set some value just simple string for now and let's log a storage storage get full okay so let's use parcel and see how it works. Let's go to localhost one, two, three, four. Let's open uh, our console. So we can see we got our state or storage preserved here. So it logs bar. And uh, another thing that you can, with the storage, you can um, store some complex objects like let's create bass and let's do some object stuff here. And let's console log 
storage get bass. Let's save and see. You can see there is object which is parsed and looks like any other JavaScript object. So you can preserve a pretty lot of data about uh, 640 kilobytes of data itself in window history location with this tiny library. And there are some interesting things as well. For example, uh, storing objects will implicitly clone them using the structured clone algorithm. So it's like cloning objects with all their nested properties. And this is really a neat quirk and moreover it has wide browser support up to Internet Explorer 10. So kudos to Jason Miller for bringing another great library in micro libraries world. So Microsoft brings JavaScript to Excel. This feature is one among many others coming with the latest huge update to the Excel platform, including machine learning functions for building an ML model based on data in your Excel sheet, like forecasting, fraud detection, and more. But let's get back to JavaScript. New Excel includes possibility to write custom JavaScript functions to assist with math operations. So this means you can write a function in JavaScript and use it like any other native Excel functions like SUM, for example. And this is pretty awesome update, especially for web or Node.js developers who have to deal with Excel stuff a lot, but don't really want to dive deep into visual basics uh, because you know what for. JavaScript custom functions are available right now as a preview in developer preview for Office 365 and other stuff like machine learning functions will be ready for preview in the near future. So that's all for today folks, all the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay trending.